Day 154, a rude awakening. Still don't have my passport, do I? Oh, okay, I'm not in crippling debt anymore, I'm just broke-ass poor. Oh, we're just climbing back up. The rhythmic beeping of the heart monitor brings you slowly back to consciousness. Opening your eyes, you're greeted by a semicircle of concerned faces. Your family by your side, a reassuringly familiar sight in these new surroundings. You blink a few times to clear the sleep from your eyes and bring everyone into focus. Ah, oh, that was all a dream. That might have really all been a dream. Uh, no lockdown? We all good? You feel a hand on yours, gentle but reassuring. Sam, there with you as always. Their expression, understandably concerned, is somehow more affectionate than ever. We knew you'd be okay, never doubted it for a second. And if I ever see that Bozeman... You squeeze their hand back and attempt a wink. Oh, did I overwork and go to the hospital? The worry lines on Sam's forehead fade a bit. Lord knows you've both got enough to be anxious about without your health being thrown into the mix. With a final smile at them, you turn to the rest of your family. Just as you feel Susie's absence, you notice Charlie fidgeting, clearly trying to not look worried. Susie's gone. Uh, did she not come back from vacation? Charlie went to the brainwashing camp. Are you... Uh, are you okay? As soon as you turn to look at him, you can see Charlie tense up, his concern clear on his face. So... You're definitely good, right? He finally asks, quickly looking away. Hmm. Did he do something to cause me to come to the hospital? Of course I am, buddy. There's nothing to worry about. Charlie looks at you and grins, one of those infectious smiles that spreads around the room. It's always good to have him in your corner. Your smile fades as you notice your mother staring listlessly out the window. Despite all your best efforts, she's not been doing well lately. Are you okay, mom? Your mother starts, your call clearly shocking her out of her reverie. She turns to you and smiles, and you're grateful to see the increasingly rare recognition in her eyes. Oh no. Yes, dear, of course. How are you feeling? You smile warmly and nod, but before you can respond, a doctor bustles in and ushers everyone out. She asks you, for what feels like the hundredth time, how you're feeling. Surprisingly well, all things considered. Excellent! There's no sign of any real damage, just a bit of a shock to the old system, pardon the pun. She smiles. Not that we'd recommend you to do anything like that again, of course. After a couple of days rest at home, you should feel right as rain. She turns to leave, but stops at the door. Oh, and the private room and care. The doctor gestures to your room, which you now notice looks rather expensive. It has all been paid for by a Mr. Bozeman. Oh, thank God! He left those flowers and said not to worry, and to take the rest of the week off. He'll see you Monday, apparently. Seems like the least he could do. Yeah, so that was all a nightmare. It was, um... Because the previous day, I got electrocuted, and then I ended up in the hospital. Okay, it's not real. It's not real, thank God. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. We'll have to see, because... <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. Because in, in a real-life way, I can't imagine that they would have been able to film too much in a not-lockdown way. So, yeah, we'll see. Burden to bear. Bear. You come home from a particularly late shift to find the kitchen light still on, which isn't normally a good sign. Everyone's usually in bed by now. Softly opening the kitchen door, you find Sam sat at the table. Bills and papers are strewn in front of them, as well as what looks to be their second pack of biscuits. They give you a quick kiss as you take a seat next to them. Bills. Sam frowns and goes back to the bill they're holding. Hey, sweetheart. Just looking at the numbers again. They look to the door to the pantry, now converted into your mother's bedroom. We've been doing our best, but I think Cassandra really needs a nurse to look after her now. Suddenly, the bills are all you can see. Oh, there are thousands of dollars. I've been staring at the numbers all night. Tears in their eyes, 
Sam takes your hand. <sighs> There's just no way we can afford it. I... I'm so sorry. The kitchen table swims before you. Sam stands up and pulls you into a firm embrace. But all you can think about is your mother. And how you can't afford to help her. What would your dad be thinking now? Is this the utopia Advance promised? You stare at the door to your mother's makeshift room. Tomorrow, you'll need to tell the kids. <gasps> and then book an appointment at the transition center. What else could you have done? Mm, they, uh, they're, they're sharing with you the very real impacts of what these acts and all these new legal things can do. Mm, my mom. Oh, I can't believe Chris is not helping us. He just ran away. And I don't have my passport, so I can't receive the benefits that they might be handing out. Day 201, a letter home. Sam's out with work tonight, and Charlie's staying at a friend's. The house is yours. You order a takeaway, have a couple of drinks, and decide to relax in front of the TV. Not a great selection tonight, but surely something to watch. I can't laugh. I'm struggling. I can't provide for my family. I'm struggling. I'm... I'm crumbling too and I can't take care of my mom. <sighs> you just want to switch off. Action thriller is the one. The writing's terrible and you're pretty sure the lead actor got the role for their looks rather than their talent. Despite yourself, you're actually quite into it by the finale even if the rope bridge over the active volcano is a bit cliché. When it's over, you reach for the fallen remote and instead find something small and metal lying under the coffee table. As you bring it out into the light, you're reminded of Sam's note on the fridge. Hey, sweetheart. Charlie lost Susie's present. Would you mind looking for it tonight? <gasps> is it expensive? As you hold it closer, you are surprised to find the gift's actually an engraved lighter for Chippy. She claims the nickname's affectionate, but Charlie still scowls every time she says it. Mm, you're not sure Sam would approve. The accompanying note from Susie explains, Urkistan has a long tradition of glorifying the art of starting fires. Thought you'd like it. Don't do anything stupid, Suze. Hopefully it's just a souvenir and not a new pastime he's picked up or about to pick up. Uh-oh. It's nice that she thought of him. Oh, I thought Susie was going on a vacation like, I don't know, like going camping with her friends and she needs to buy a camping tent or something. But you're telling me she went on a vacation like really, really far away? With like, I don't know, with a plane ticket and hotel fees and all that? Oh, man. That's why she's not here, because she's still on vacation. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Well... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> We're struggling. I shouldn't have let Susie go. We'd probably be doing a little bit better financially, but... I don't know. I, I just want my family to be happy. That's all. Is that so much to ask for? Is it? Oh. <sighs> No one's calling me today? Hmm. Should probably get the power started. Problem? I want her fired yeah, today, now. Don't worry, Kath, it'll be alright. No, it won't be alright, Kath. Pack up your weapons of optical destruction and get out. You realise you're beginning to sound like me? I mean it, Kath. Oh my god, what's happening here? Stay where you are, Kath. Jenny? This is not Jenny's decision, Jeremy. All yours. It'll be alright, I'll talk to Bucks for you. Oh, good. You can tell him I'll return his wife's casserole dish she tar dinner next week. Uh, okay. What's happening here? Megan is... She wants somebody fired? 
Sorry, Kat, you're gonna have to leave. At 11.30, it's a double bill for popular transatlantic comedy. Sports sport board game. <laughs> Wait, what? 10 seconds, everybody! I thought we were part of a team these days. Things are better. Oh, there's only two! Stop being so high minded. It's broken! Three. What the hell? Good evening. I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Donald. Our main headlines tonight. The establishment strikes back. The World Council has agreed today to impose punitive sanctions on the people of this country. The <gasps> sanctions, which are broad ranging, include restrictions on the supply of oil and gas, food, clothing, and even some medicines. But how should we react? We ask the public. What are your reactions? I to did the, the angry. What are your oh, fucking outrageous. My mom needs insulin. Am I supposed to get her transitioned? What's the government doing about it? Mm. That's how I feel. Thanks, Patrick. Fascinating stuff. Thanks. My mom Popular is in the transition center. Has released a reassuringly brave statement. Oh, this is blocked off. To the World Council's controversial announcement. The World Council's controversial announcement. This international declaration is nothing short of outrageous. <laughs> We are a democratically elected government with massive popular support. We do not recognize these sanctions. And we encourage other socially progressive nations of the world to both resist and ignore them. People are sanctioning us. Fear into the heart of the international community by showing that it is possible to have radical change for the betterment of the many. And whilst I wish we could improve other countries as much as we have our own, we do not rely on the help of others to thrive. This country is entirely self-sufficient. We are a team, now more than ever. And this team is on your side. Thank you. What about my mom then? Defiant stuff. I don't feel like you guys are helping. Public. Think of our government stance. Robin Short found out. I did this one. Robin Short found out. Hi there. Robin Short, National Nightly News. I was wondering if I could get your thoughts on the current government. I'm not really very interested in politics, really. Oh no. His mother always said, leave politics to the politicians, Malcolm. A flawed day's night. Following the release of the Flood Master 5000, production of floods are at an all-time high, requiring the new manufacturing facility in Grizzleford to move to 24-hour-a-day production. With people finding more and more uses for the ever-versatile flood, the team uh, happy? of and Sist certainly have their hands full keeping up with demand. I, I couldn't play the ad, though. Is there anything better than a handful of floods? We asked Patrick to find out. Patrick? I can eject it. Do you have an opinion of floods at all? Oh, so maybe I gotta eject one later. Everyone! Do you even remember when we didn't have floods and we had to rely on words? Oh, I'd never go back. <laughs> I have no idea what any of those are. The delicate sound of thunder. A frightening start for commuters this morning who were confronted by a somewhat sinister sight as they left their trains. Many travellers reported feeling intimidated by the silent figures who stood motionless outside every major station in the capital. Radical extremist group Disrupt, who organised the show of strength, refused to comment on the meaning of the strange protest. Or to apologize to this presenter for Let's making the morning bacon a surprise. But how do we feel about these somewhat radical extremists and their upsetting? My methods? boss won't be happy. Robin found out. How do you feel about disrupt? Oh, well, now disrupt. You're ruddy hero showing us not to take it lying down like Iris here. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel there are cause worth supporting? So well, Iris doesn't speak online, but we're pretty sure there's still one in there, aren't we, love? <laughs> Wherever it is, it loves disrupt, fighting the oil for our freedom and what could possibly be wrong with that do you need me to get you some help iris speak Dr. up Hall. divided doctors david wong and ingrid sforz borgen or organsford today sent an intriguing blueprint to the service for a simple solution to their increasingly isolationist communities in an accompanying statement the pair reported that the current system of a dotted line painted on the floor has proven unreliable especially after a few drinks but how should we feel about sending construction materials to this disparate community? Patrick Bannon again. So, do you think we should help with this whole wall thing? Absolutely! Oh, maybe that's not what I wanted to say. But I am still glad that I have a high fence so I can play with Mr. Barrington in privacy. Uh, is that your boyfriend? My vagina. Oh, okay. 
I am not a member. <laughs> Applications finally open today for the new advanced team membership cards, a scheme by the government to allow fast access to all the new public services being introduced daily. The team membership cards are entirely voluntary, but will be recognized as legal identification by all major organizations. Oh, I don't know about that. Vitally, pubs and bars. And of course, there's no charge, Jeremy. That all seems too good to be true. Well, let's make it, let's do an angry one today. What should you, the public, think about the new team membership cards? What should you think? Team membership cards? Absolutely bloody not. That's the thin end of the wedge, isn't it, Iris? First it's, can I see your identification, sir? And then it's, would you mind bending over the table, sir? So Sergeant State Educated and Constable Regional Accent here can stick their truncheon up your dairy hair. Oh, crikey! They should call them what they are. They're My boss will be mad. Cards. Oh, for Christ's sake, what is it, Iris? Oh, I'm really not happy, Algernon! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> and finally tonight, getting stuck in, in a shameless attempt to cash in on his bad boy status, shame celebrity Johnny Hamsleys announced a new line of real ale at a press conference earlier today. The new brew, entitled Headbutt Ale, in reference to his controversies of last year, promises I give him a good one. you'll pretend you regret. Or possibly a night you'll pretend you remember. So what should we all think of Johnny's latest attempt to market his notoriety? Patrick? Oh my god, fantastic! Wise words there. Later tonight, in a bit of a switcheroo, it'll be Jeremy in the culture chair, spitting rhymes with popular rapper Jay Zuss. And then we'll She's the main one now. The team of thespians set to take the nation by storm again. That's all coming up on tonight's National Night News. She's the main reporter now. Jeremy got relegated to the culture seat. Oh, she was being all like bossy and stuff. Oh, um, yeah, it's getting more popular. You know what? I'm kind of sick of licking advances boots. They're not helping my family. My mom has to suffer in a transition center. And we're poor and broke and we can't get any help. I don't like that, so starting today, we might be rebelling. Thankfully, some news as we return to our main story. The World Council today agreed that punitive and potentially illegal sanctions should be imposed upon this country. The sanctions, which come into effect immediately, be to stop the flow of food, fuel, and even some medicines from reaching what? your pockets. Tonight, we have guests from across the continent to discuss this unprecedented situation. For advance, Peter Clement is at his home in Lanfordshire. Are you there, Peter? Yes, I can hear you, Jeremy. Thank you for having me. A momentous day, Prime Minister. Are you shaken? No, I don't. Don't scare that easy, I'm afraid, old son. And neither do the people of this country. Well, joining us is Ivan Vodovich, Foreign Minister of Urkistan. Ivan, thank you for being here. Urkistan, that's where you, Megan, Susie Bush, bought the lighter. Like strongest guard of labor camp who wake up inside body of crazy, expensive prostitute. In my country, you may be worshipped as a god. Okay. Uh, Minister, as one of those Great. arguing most strongly for these sanctions, how do you feel about Advance's defiant stance? Uh, Advance is like man who thinks he a big career in movies land, when actually he in dirty sanitarium, screaming at me and holding tiny penis in hand. <laughs> He's clearly not from Svendland, then. We have like some of the cleanest mental health facilities in the country. Who are you? <laughs> and welcome to Svendland's Minister of Mojo, Björk. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't appear to have your surname. It's just Björk, yeah. We don't use things like socially divisive as surnames here, yeah. Uh, minister? <laughs> it's just Björk, yeah. Right, um, Björk, your country spoke in favour of advance at the World Council today, but you were noticeably absent when it came to the actual vote. Well, what a surprise. The hippies didn't show up for the fight. Actually, that's quite racist, because if you must know, we were going to go to the whole, like, vote thing, yeah, but it's actually the festival of Furelands here at the moment, where we honour the older generations. So, like, we all had to look our grandparents clean, yeah, whilst the vote was Ew. happening. And that's, like, a really, really time-consuming process, actually. You're like a sissy man. You have this expression, sissy man. It's like man with tiny penis who like to wash more than once a week. Actually, that's quite homophobic, yeah. Oh, because... stop winding him up. I mean, we're not back at the Grange now. Sorry, Jeremy. Ivan and I used to play golf back in my media days. Yeah, he always win. Nothing gives you greater pleasure than grinding people's gears. The more publicly, the better. <laughs> Peter, you're like man with tiny penis, who think he have tiny penis, but actually he discovered that. But actually he discovered that. Oh, could it be? 
floor is tiny bilious. Ivan's just worried that <laughs> when the rest of the world sees how well we're doing, they'll notice all that dosh that he's got squirreled away. Because that's what these sanctions are, Megan. They're the last pathetic gasp of an establishment in collapse. Wolf's at the gates, Ivan, old mate. Good. They can join others on my wall. Actually, in Svenland, we have like serious animal welfare legislation. Svenland. My friend Helga, she got arrested <laughs> for killing a butterfly that was hovering over her fuel thing. I mean, in English, uh, jam sandwich. I used to know a girl called Jan Sandwich. She was a right cracker, too. I wonder what became of her. We seem to be wandering a little from the news here. Yeah, um, human interest, Jeremy. The real people behind the headlines and all that. So uh, if you're watching... She's um, in charge. Give us a call. Really? Um, yeah. Let's see if we can't organise a reunion. Crash, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I'll have to run it past Mrs Clement first, eh? <laughs> Peter, you're like man trying to empty ashes of her uh, mistresses into oncoming wind. Uh, soon you have tiny penis. Very mature. Secrets. In Finland, we don't really go in for all that strict and monogamy stuff here. We're kind of flaw bachelor. Okay, well, it seems that we are running out of time. Yes, so before we go to the break, and um, briefly, if you would, gentlemen, with the people of this country facing shortages and power possible, outages. Possible shortages and power outages. Yes, of course. Thank you. Um, possible shortages and power outages. Can you summarise your thoughts for us, uh, Minister Biak? Well, from here, yeah, you all look a bit stupid really arguing about outdated device concepts like money. In Finland, <laughs> we replaced currency with a system of bodily fluids back in the 1970s, and that's oh. like really hard to sanction, actually. Thank you, uh, Minister Votovic. Your country is like man who thinks he invented perfect trap for giant Newton hairy bear. But really, he's just standing in field holding, holding his tiny penis. Yes, thank you, Minister. And finally, Prime Minister Clement. Let me talk to your viewers here, Jeremy. Almost the ad. Don't worry, everybody. Don't be afraid. Don't even lose a wink of sleep. We knew the rest of the world would react this way. And we're ready. As my old mum used to say, you can't make a shite pie without blocking a few toilets. Thank you, Prime Minister. Reassuring words there. We'll be back. After these messages. One minute back. Hey, Peter. I over your way this weekend. You fancy a quick nine? Yeah, sure. Front or back. We gotta <laughs> eject it later That's when it's not playing. You're asking Megan Wolf for me. <laughs> She's out, <of> you. <laughs> later. Relax a little bit. Say hello to us. Um, the these are not friends anymore. COVID in formula is a deep fortifying intense. Oh God! And protects hair from irresistible. Wow, her her skin was so nice. Only a seed gastric contains an organic blend of ingredients that penetrate. <laughs> Oh no, we have to help them censor as well. The intensive formula acts fast, oh, God. strengthening strands for hair. Okay, I, I showed this disrupt in a good light just now, but it doesn't mean I can't help do the government stuff, especially because it's paying my bills right now. Yeah, forget it, we're not paying attention to this. He put that get up on himself. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Going in five, four, three. Welcome back. I'm Megan Wolf. Welcome Later, back. we have an I'm exclusive Megan first look Later, at a theatrical sensation first. everyone's going to be talking about. But first, everyone's it's time to go over to the culture spot with lovely old Jeremy Donaldson, who's joined by a very Donaldson. special guest. Jeremy. Very special guest. Thanks, Megan. Jeremy. You got the mood. I have the honor and privilege of being joined by hip hop royalty. By He's been called the son of the streets and the, son the father of truth. Um, not sure how that works, but whatever. Um, let's welcome <laughs> Jesus. Let's welcome <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> right, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, it's a real honor to be here on this show, the yeah, news. Real, you know, as a kid on the streets, I used to watch you for a window of the shop, so to be here right now is crazy. You've had quite the journey to be here today. Can you tell us about it? Can you tell us about it? You know, I try not to um, 
you know, I try not. Oh, you know, the past is the past, and I don't like to dwell you on know, it. The past I is the past. But yeah, man, the streets is all I remember. <laughs> yeah. My mother donated me to a charity shop soon after I was born. An elderly lady took pity on me. What's happening here? She let me sleep on a pile of crime fiction until I taught myself how to walk. Wow, that's <laughs> quite the childhood. Wow. And she died, like, died tragically. And she died. Right there in my arms, man. Right there what happened? Man. You know, I remember a tear falling as she laid there next you know, to the used homeware. And in that moment, I became a child of the streets. I became a child of the I was just 18 months old. I was just 18 months old. What a tale. What, what a tale. A tale. <coughs> a tale. Calm down, Jeremy. Your direct and honest your lyrics. Your was your style informed by your troubled past? Was your style informed by your Oh, like I said, I, uh... I try not like to I talk said, about I, uh, it. It's just um I try not to talk about it. It's just um it's just too hard. Of course. I... But my first album is about the story of the first four <laughs> times I stole. So I wouldn't starve. A small group of infants came to see me as their de facto leader. They call me Mr. Cheese They call me Mr. Cheese Anyway, we were like a family. Anyway, we were like a family. So I would say. Recently, you've been quite outspoken about the government. Yeah, fuck the government. Fuck advance. Fuck Peter Clement. What is it that you object to so... Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you know, they stole um, from us. They're taking our money and spending it, man. I just sort of instinctively did all of it. Actually, homelessness has been all but eliminated in the last couple of months. Really? Surely that's a cause close to your heart? Surely that's a cause close to your heart? Yeah. Nah, of course, man. Very much so. I just mean, like... He needs cues. Why do I have to pay for it, you know? Why do I have to pay for it, you know? People right. have been rehoused on property seized from the People historically wealthy. Mm. From the and that couldn't have been you, could it? Look, yeah. that couldn't have been you. I worked hard to be here. I built this from I nothing. To be and I deserve I to be rewarded for that. And I deserve to be Would you say you worked harder than, say, Would you say you a farmer or a care worker? A farmer I don't know. Care worker? But if people are taking something from my music, choose to value it, buy it. Music, who's to say I don't? And no one can take that away from me. Who's to say I don't? Not even to help, say, vulnerable children? Mr. Cheese Slice. Mr. Cheese Slice. What is it you're trying to say? What is it you're I just to don't say? understand where you've placed yourself I politically. I mean, is it ideological or is it tactical? Well, it's more of a. Or maybe it's hereditary. Well, it's more of a. Or maybe you're trying to tie me in knots with your words, Jeremy. You're trying to tie me in knots with your I let the music speak for itself. I let the music and the people so, agree with me. He's talking about how he's he grew up poor. Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> but you're not giving me a very easy segue out of a but he doesn't that I promise agree you with the policies. Me than it was for you. So here he is with his hit song, Mrs. Lovelace Tears. Oh no, um, I'm going to do something a little different. It's a new single I've been working on. Oh, so this is uh, unapproved, is it? Yeah. You love it. Excellent. Don't worry, we've got a study of the art censorship system. Worry, What's the worst that could happen? So uh, here he is with a new song. So here he is. Oh, we're lucky. It's Jesus. I can censor First. audio, not visuals, You're okay? Gonna pay. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. Come, 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 come. Well, we're all different races from many different places At any given moment, only one could be the greatest So you can feel elation from your participation Still two leaders in this motherfucking nation Now we're getting sanctioned, talking about expansion Why does Julie is require a massive fucking mansion? So fuck all your schemes, I don't need your freaky team And I don't need your help to achieve my fucking dreams That's a lot of swearing, my guy So don't make a fuss when you find you're one of us Yeah, every single one of you's a bit Jesus And you can call me crazy, cause no one ever pays me But I won't waste a lifetime being motherfucking lazy I may be inventive, my taste may be expensive But why would I get out of bed with no fucking incentive Although it's contravention of your obvious intention I like to eat a little of the fruits in my invention You make us the same, but we're not all the same All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same the best of the praise of the press of the way Oh, we're gonna do it faster. People when we motherfucking play. Take this fact, gonna stain it, break, gonna slam it into Peter Clemens, motherfucking head. Cause he's thick, cause shit, he's got a job, he's unthinkable. It's time to stall the bottle with a motherfucking bitch for. 
it's hard to separate out the white and the, the red and the blue. And the shelf ones, the folks to feel the burden of their motherfucking loved ones. Ones who had plenty, like a motherfucking Bentley. The ones who now finding that their bank accounts are empty. The ones of aspiration, who had to flee a nation. The ones who built a business that had dreams of perspiration. There's all sorts of people, the good and the evil. It only takes a glance to see we're not all equal. You make us the same, but we're not all the same All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same And the best of the praise, of the press of the ways Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves Gonna take this fact, gonna stain it red Gonna slam it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head Cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job he's unfit for It was talking crap about the government Get out of your seats, get your asses in the streets Set a fire in the building, let him feel some fucking heat Take your hate to gold getters, the squill and bed getters, and burn them on the powers of advances fucking letters. Oh, uh oh, I didn't get the beginning of that. Gonna take this fast, gonna stain it red, gonna slam it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head, cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job, he's unfit for. Time to spawn the past and read the motherfucking bitch for. Chase that dream, you don't need a fucking team, and advances little dancers on as harmless as it seems, cause they're stale and corrupt, then you ain't Dude, this guy's with disrupt. Oh my god. Um Jay's us there with his new song. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. That I'm sorry. Um I might not agree with you, but I'd just like to offer you an apology. I've just been told that there was some kind of issue upstairs. And an attempt was made to censor some of your lyrics. What? Are you joking? I'd just like to say to you and everyone at home that this was a mistake. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe this. This was a mistake, yeah, yeah sure. News, we pride ourselves on remaining neutral, unbiased, and independent of any outside interference. Yeah. You have my word. We will never censor ideas. Yeah, you, Megan. of course. Well, a bit of dangerous language there. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, thank you to little Jeremy Donaldson for providing our culture. CM, CM. Coming up, we'll be speaking to a couple of familiar faces about their upcoming dramatic outing. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. That's the ad. See, my boss obviously. Yes, I did. Just Thank you. Up, I'm sure. Now, if you come with me, I really do have to ask oh, you to leave me. it. My father's going to hear about it. Watch that later. Stop us. And we intend to make sure My that boss and time, the station is like pro advanced. The people coming on. We did share some A plus. We did here. some uh, disrupt ideas though. Like earlier, the street interview. This book will be coming to you by post in the next few days, and it will let you claim enough food for the week every week at one of our many new distributions. It's palate cleanser centers. after seeing all that disrupt Everyone stuff. Will get their fair share. <laughs> and no I popped it already. I put in the sports board behind. one. So you can carry on coming together to enjoy life. And make They're not getting along anymore. Because we've shown our international friends what's possible when we all pool our resources and come together in a sense of team spirit. So don't worry about what the rest of the world thinks. Save your concern for those around you, your family, friends. We don't care if the rest of the world sanctions us. Confidence that the team will keep you safe from all the rest. Advance. Let's keep on setting a shining example. Five. Together. Four. Three. Welcome oh, they're back. back. No, you're not mistaken. Sitting across from us are some very familiar faces. <laughs> you really are too kind, Megan. It was only a yogurt commercial, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> Here to talk about his new show, we're joined by national treasure Tommy Harris, the national theatre's Philip Ray, and national deficit Jeff Algebra. It's so deficit. To have you all. Um, Tommy, would you like to tell us about the show? You know what? I'd bloody love to. It's about me. It's about my life. And where did the idea come from? So, right, picture this. Um, their legs are kimbo, mid-session, sweat is pouring out of me like an immense hog. And then Cindy comes in, she says, she says, Pete's on the phone. That's Peter Clement, 
The Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, Pete's actually a really good mate of mine. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, no, he comes to training sometimes. He's actually a pretty good goal oh. sweeper. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> Pete, he says, he says, Toby, can you... He thinks my name's Toby, see? He says, how would <laughs> but it's you not. like to spread your message of team spirit and cooperation across this fractured nation? How would you like to really make a difference in these desperate times? What did you say? Yeah, right, yeah. So, Jeff, the question on everyone's lips is, what in God's name are you doing here? Ah, well, after the success of my debut work uh, and all the people that I've touched, I knew that I had a, a career in theatre. Yeah? I've always been an admirer of Tommy from afar. So when my manager phoned and said that I'd been offered the gig as director, I was ecstatic. I whipped my trousers off and got straight to work. Oh! Why did you do that? <laughs> I do all my best work with my trousers off. Yeah, I've been told that too. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Right, Tommy, um, <laughs> so, just give us a sense of what the show is actually about. Uh, it's about how hard it's been for me and some of the struggles that I've faced. It's it, like really getting to the heart of how tough it is to be me. I call it Tommy Harris. Jesus, that was hard. Mm, it's catchy. Uh, we actually have some clips of the process of the show. Um, would you mind telling us what's going on here? Yeah, so the show is, is, is built around uh, two things that are very important to me. Uh, it mixes scenes from my life uh, as well as epic fantasy retellings of scenes from my life. Oh, OK. But Dad. You promised you'd come to my graduation. I'm sorry, son. I'm You're an embarrassment. We need a but small Dad, window for the reactions. You promised you'd come to my graduation. You promised you'd come to my graduation. Back, demon! Back to the hells! Ooh. Demon, back to the hells! Oh. Philippa, um, what's it been like <laughs> co-starring with Tommy Harris? I've always dreamed of always treading the boards wait, 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 wait. of medium-scale regional theatres, Megan. <laughs> and for once, this show really gives me something to sink my teeth into. What's different about this show, then? Tommy, uh, Mr. Harris's show really lets me show my tremendous range as an actor. I've always suffered from typecasting. You just switched hats. To play the same tired characters <laughs> in every god awful yogurt <laughs> advert or godforsaken soap opera or god forbid a pantomime. But you know, this 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 show has really let me just just go there. Jeff, the viewers at home will be dying to know exactly what is it that you bring to the show. What is it? Oh, good question. Uh, I think these guys would agree with me when I say that it's my uh, my steady hand on the tiller, my arm round the shoulder approach that's really brought the production from strength to strength. Absolutely right. Jeff's contributions are immeasurable. He oh my God! What was that? Can you give us a sneak peek of anything else that might be in the show? <laughs> Yeah, all sorts, yeah. Uh, we, yeah. We've got lots of exclusive first hand experiences of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. And some epic underground. fantasy retellings of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. <laughs> oh! oh. The swords! Imagine saying this was officially commissioned by the government. Yeah, yeah, all, all paid for by the taxpayer, which, you know, to be honest, was actually a lifesaver, really. Yeah, I think it's yeah. fair to say that without Advance's support, we'd have had to cut the finale. Yeah. Which, frankly, would have been a travesty. If people need to see this. Oh, God, Jesus Christ! We need to put money into the arts and crafts. Every night. Absolutely. It's a metaphor. For what? For what? Death. And the public are footing the bill, are they? <laughs> Too bloody right they are. Between the cost of my tour bus and the dry cleaning of my ties, I'm barely scraping a profit here. Amazing. And where can the folks at home come and see this for themselves? We're performing all over the nation. <laughs> and people can see it for absolutely free, all courtesy of Advance. Isn't that incredible, Jeremy? Wow, yes. they're doing good things with their money. Unbelievable. Yes. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Next time we see you, no doubt, you'll have taken our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all we have time for tonight. Add, add. Join us tomorrow when I'll be interviewing the world's most attractive horse. I'm Jeremy Dawson. And I'm Megan Wolf. And from all of us here, have a peaceful night. 
That's the ads. Let's get reset for tomorrow, please. Hey, we must stop bumping into each other like this, eh? <laughs> 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 Perfect sports board. A plus. Okay, we'll watch that in the the back. That sounded. Oh, 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 oh! I didn't censor all the government stuff though. All but all the offensive words I got. An interference free show, adequately edited. Advance happy with the broadcast. Okay. I am a perfect employee today. I better be getting a gigantic bonus. Yeah? Especially because I'm trying to keep this rub down. Yes! Thank you. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. That, that is not so bad. Not so bad. And my Illuminati shares are going up too. I thought about playing the same ad twice, but I probably would get penalized for that. Like, can I just play Illuminati ads the whole time? Maybe not. Okay. Okay. I, I feel a little bit more motivated at work today. Yeah. So advance is rising. Disrupt is rising. They're both rising, so Advance can't be mad at me yet. Because it's not like they're going down. And the bosses are happy with me. I'm doing a good job. Great! Great! Wonderful! Wonderful! And we're confirming that, yeah, like the, the whole lockdown thing was just a dream. And <laughs> we're back to the regularly scheduled programming. Ow! Oh. God, I'm sorry. What the fuck is wrong I'm with sorry, you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't had any food today. Oh, you're fired. <gasps> what? You're fired. What for? Fake she hasn't had food probably because advance is, you know, just like how my I don't have food for my family. I feel for ya. Don't sabotage. Jenny. Problem? I want her fired today, now. Don't worry, Kath. It'll be all right. No, it won't be all right, Kath. Pack up your weapons of optical destruction and get out. You realize you're beginning to sound like me? I mean it, Kath. <laughs> He realizes what an asshole he is. What was it? The glasses? Stay where you are, Kath. Oh yeah, she's she's on the up and up. People are too afraid to go against her now. Oh my god! Just stop being so high and mighty and do your job. Four, one, five, three. Don't tempt me. Wow. Oh no! Wow, that's. That's heartbreaking. I like- I love them! Big team when it was all happy and when Advance hadn't been meddling with everything yet, but now things are different. Wise words there. Later tonight, in a bit of a switcheroo, it'll be Jerry. Again, that's all coming up on tonight. That's the titles. I'm gonna go check my makeup. I mean, there was someone to do it for you. She's not your enemy. Is it you then? No, it's Bannon. He's been sending coded messages to Bozeman after every show. Of course, what? it's the only credible solution. You must be very disappointed. Yes, until now I thought him as a son I'd never had. I prefer you like this. Going in 10 seconds. What did I Bannon, mean? where I'm are you? Five. Four, nails, three. <laughs> Tonight, thankfully. So they were um the big problem happening today is that worldwide a lot of other nations seem to be placing sanctions on advance. The sanctions and advance is sort of trying hard to convince people that you know what, screw everybody else. We'll just be fine on our own, we'll be a team within and we'll make it through. Aiming to stop the, the flood of, what, medicine and food from reaching. There's rationing now because food. because it's not working out. Because what happened was they try to redistribute the rich stuff from the rich people to the poor people. And now it's not working out. Everybody's just sort of... Fuel and even some medicine. It's not working out. <laughs> Tonight, we have guests from across the continent. We haven't seen the lawyer lady in a while. We have uh, officials from other nations and then something about tiny penises, okay. And uh, using bodily fluids, Svenland uses bodily fluids as currency. Sure, thank you. It's uh, getting more and more dire, 232, so we're about two thirds of the way through the year. The first year of Advance's rule. How long are they gonna get to rule for? Place currency with a system of. 
Yeah, you can't really sanction bodily fluids, so uh, good solution there. Don't even lose a wink of sleep. The world would react this way, and we're ready. As me. Oh, man, you're sissy. You can't make a shot pie without booking a few toilets. Thank you for this reassuring message. Hey, Peter. One minute back. Hey, Peter. I over your way this weekend. You fancy a quick nine? Yeah, sure. Front or back? <laughs> That's what I hope you're asking Megan Wolf for me. <laughs> She's Whoa. out of your league, mate. Thank you for the correction. Well, you have to be more careful. It's all part of his long-term plan to get fired live on the news at six in front of the nation. Can someone warn him it's going a little too well? Uh, they're talking about how when Jeremy earlier, he said shortages instead of possible or potential shortages. And as a news anchor, you've got to be very careful and precise with your words because what you say is basically, it's supposed to be fact, right? So he, Jeremy is getting very fed up with advance. Megan is adjusting well into her job. She has no problem with just rolling with what advance wants, I guess. But Jeremy is noticeably just getting more and more upset. Are you still meant to bow to foreign royalty? What? Or should I just like curtsy? You're meeting him? Have they given you the Crown Prince report? Well, Megan, this is Jeremy. He'll be interviewing you. Jeremy gets the the culture reports on random rappers, and Megan's getting the ones on interviewing foreign princes and dignitaries. Oh. Yo, thanks for having me on your show. Like the chimp, are you? Live in what? ten seconds. He put that get up on himself. I'm just saying. <clears throat> oh my God, what chimp? <sighs> So this guy, something about growing up poor and then his mom died very tragically, but he's rich now, he's a rich rapper now. <laughs> well, if you're, if you're somebody's father, you're also somebody's son. That makes perfect sense. A kid on the streets. Doesn't even have a home. Oh God, he's an orphan. <laughs> oh, well, the lady, the shop lady died tragically, not the mom. <laughs> I focus so much on censoring his song, I didn't really hear the lyrics. Something about Peter Clement's head. So I want to see that part again. Yeah, he understands how it's like to live on the streets, which is why he's pro disrupt. Yeah, yeah. No, he's saying fuck the government because he's rich now and they're taking his money and redistributing it for the poor. Even though he was, he started up poor. He's angry about this. So? Yeah, of course, man. Even though homelessness is being eliminated. He's not happy about it. He wants the... But I mean, um, that is a real question though. Does a, a farmer work harder than say a rapper? What's the definition of harder? Like if you're talking about manual labor, then of course. But it might also be possible that rapping or like a, a career in music is a more valued sort of thing because, okay, it's probably a fact that a rapper, a famous rapper would make more money than a farmer. It might be viewed as unfair, but it is... It is what's happening now. Sports athletes get more money than scientists. <laughs> okay, give me the song, give me the song. Okay. It's Jesus! First. You go. Okay, 
okay, so Julia Salisbury is living in a mansion right now. She is rich. And so was Peter Clement. So he doesn't, he just wants, it sounds like what he wants is, if I work hard, I get paid, then that's my money. He doesn't want it redistributed, which is a very understandable viewpoint. Unfit for job. Advance has a lot of ideas, but might be a little bit too restrictive. And then this Rupt is more like, hey, let the people be free. And that should be a topic. That should be an ideal that speaks to me, because I chose in the beginning that the government should let people be free. Just been told that there was some... Is she saying anything? Um... Jay's us there with his new song. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Oh, but they don't know about this because Mr. Bozeman phoned me directly to tell me about the new censoring system. Mm. What? Are you joking? I just like to say to you and everyone. This is not a free state. This was a mistake. This is absolutely ridiculous. Given that for eight years, we pride ourselves on remaining neutral, unbiased, and independent of any outside interference. You have no rights. We will never censor ideas. But you will. Dangerous language there, sorry about that. <laughs> well, thank you to little Jeremy Donaldson for providing our culture spot. Little up, Jeremy we'll Donaldson. To familiar faces about That's the ads. Jenny, this is fucking outrageous. Thank you so much. If you could just come with no, me. No, no, this is ridiculous. Who do I complain to? Uh, this is just a mix-up, I'm sure. Now, if you come with me, I really do have to ask oh, you to leave me. it. My father's going to hear about this. I understand. God. <laughs> this is unbelievable, Megan. I don't know what you're talking about, Jeremy. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to care about it. He he wants some semblance of the truth getting out. We're supposed to be unbiased. But in the beginning, there when we chose people for the street interview, we could pick whoever we wanted, which is something really important to like note even just for real life too, being able to critically pick out the news because whatever people show you is what people want to show you. It's not necessarily what's, what's happening. If a news interview says we found some people on the streets, they could very easily just pick out the ones that they want to show you. So it's not exactly representative of the majority opinion. Oh, here we go. Very, oh, very easy to forget that. Look at him. If we could just get you in position. <laughs> oh, say no more. Say no more. <laughs> Mr. Harris, and this is Ms. Raiden. What? Philippa, please. We're back together again, eh? Who'd have thought it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the lockdown. <laughs> it is awfully exciting, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay then. We're going live in 10 seconds, opening on camera one. Oh. Sorry. Cheers. What? Ew! Five, four, Just give him his gum! What the hell, you s- Oh four, my god. Three. Welcome back. And no, you're not mistaken. <laughs> Sitting across from us. I want to see the, the clips of the theater again. He's still holding on to it. This guy's rich too. He's a professional sports board player and all this. He's still holding it this whole time. Uh, two things that are very important to me. Uh, it mixes. An epic fantasy retelling, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you promised you'd come to my graduation. I'm sorry, son. You're an embarrassment. I 
<laughs> wow, how many characters are in this? this and <laughs> the government paid for this some people are you know they don't even have they can't even eat food for today like Kath or me I can't even feed my mom I can't let her have proper care but yet for themselves this is being funded all over you know what I'm close to saying it too F the government, right? F the government. I got a nice bonus today, but it was only because I did well every single time. And if I slip up even once, I don't think I would get a bonus. And Or maybe if I do, it would be a little bonus. So don't be so happy just because I'm getting one generous bonus today. They could very easily just pull it out under me at any time. What is this? Hi, it's crazy here. I'm the oh, new hairstyle! You have a lot of everything. Mm. Fronds. Even on his headstones. Well, uh, I didn't invest in Neil, so maybe we won't be seeing his ads on the actual broadcast anytime soon. I gotta look up for myself, okay? I, I gotta get the eye of the beholder. EOB Acid Gastric Long. Acid Gastric Acid Long. Long version of the Gastric Acid commercial. You know, we're just talking about hair though, you know, Six we're not selling a, selling some skincare products today. Hair care professionals with a qualification in shampooology from the Eye of the Beholder Institute of Beautyology. Beautology. Oh god. <laughs> It's just her hair. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's it's okay. We gotta keep doing it because that's the one we that's the one we uh, invest in. But we're still in debt right now. Hi, I'm Sophia Remington, CEO of Remington Fist, and I'm so excited to be able to tell you about our newest product. Everybody loves bars, after all. From holding your house up to keeping your bills down, there really seems to be no limit to their uses. But there is a problem. Remington's fist, Remington, Remington's hey Brad, I brought you some new flowers. Hey, what's up? You seem sad, Brad. You know I love working with flowers, Janet. But sometimes they can be a bit fiddly to get in place. Oh, that sounds bad, Brad. There, there has, has to, to be, be a, a better, better way. way. And now there is. Whoa. This bad boy is the Florida Master 5000. Don't worry, the safety catch is on. Otherwise, <laughs> it could quite literally take out a rib. Just point it at the target, set the 15 dials, and pull the trigger. And it'll punch a Florida right through the goddamn wall. So, 
Whether you're engineering a rescue craft, a bit of home improvement, or just helping your kids out with their homework. If you can't get by without Flards, you need the Flard Master 5000. It's like a block. Goodness, it's available in all reputable stores. A block that you can use for everything and anything. Sports board, the board game. How does this work? Oh no, the tiny bell. Oh, the other ladies here too. They must both be famous players. Ellie Striker! Oh no! Catch the egg! Name that fish! Keep the bucket! <laughs> yes! It's the boys boys! Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, you know what that means! Put on the shame hat! And that's right! We win your kids! Sorry! Oh no! Forget those oh wow! Oh god! Wow. You saw how the calendar said it's currently 1985? So I guess this whole thing is supposed to be set around that time, right? And these these videos look so much like they're actually from those times, so I guess you can really recreate that stuff, huh? People are always the same, but it's really just the technology and the colors and the clothing that makes a difference. Mm hmm It's because, you know, sometimes you look at something and you're like, oh yeah, I can tell this is from back in the day, but these are... This was filmed in current day, but it looks like it was back in the day, so it's, it's reproducible. Okay, the rationing. This is an important one. Here at Advance, we know you're worried about the future. This territory is changing fast, and that makes other countries uncomfortable. But that won't stop us. And we intend to make sure that in these challenging times, every citizen gets their fair share of the abundant, nutritious food we grow right here in the territory. Your entitlements book will be coming to you by post in the next few days, and it will let you claim enough food for the week every week at one of our many new distribution centers. Do you need a passport? Everyone will get their fair share, and no one will be left behind. So you can carry on coming together to enjoy life and make wonderful memories. Because we've shown our international friends what's possible when we all pool our resources and come together in a sense of team spirit. So don't worry about what the rest of the world thinks. Save your concern for those around you, your family, friends, and neighbors, and have confidence that the team will keep you safe from all the rest. Advance. Let's keep on setting a shining example together. It's a very good propaganda ad. Yeah, it, it plays calming classical music, making you feel better. But in the long run, a nation that doesn't interact internationally because it's been sanctioned by everyone else, I don't know, man. And if if everyone is supposed to have food, then why is Kath? Why are people like Kath and my my family? Why can't I afford um help out my mom? The only choice I have for her is a transition center, even though I don't want her to go there. That's the worst thing. Things are things are changing slowly but surely. But now you start to see it. Eh? The people never happy. It never enough. I cannot believe you.